But I asked other people, what, what do you want to hear about? And one of the things I heard was dispelling misconceptions, right? And that's where this kind of unbiased research that you put out a lot and what you put out into the world, I think, answers. So I was wondering if you could go into some misconceptions, myths, or even if they are true. And one of the ones I, I kept getting hearing about is, of course, microbiome, gut health, and depression. And really looking at this study show, there is, there isn't a link in whether it's really toxins, medication, things like mold and diet are so interesting. But on a molecular level, what role do antidepressants play in worsening or abating symptoms? This is really interesting things that I've just started looking at. We, we think of certain neurotransmitters as absolutely amazing and beneficial to our health, like serotonin, choline, dopamine. But when we look at certain conditions where they're in excess, it's the complete opposite. Targeting depression, you're looking at the serotonin neurotransmitter. Uh, SSRI, serotonin reuptake inhibitors, selected serotonin reuptake inhibitors, they basically force the serotonin to stay between the synaptic clefts, and it just lingers there. When you have too much of that serotonin, you start to desensitize the specific receptors for them, and there's multiple serotonin receptors. When that starts to happen, you start to get some interesting effects because serotonin, the way serotonin was found in general was that it was a, an enteroamine, meaning it, it was originating in the gut. And we know this now to be the case. 90% is produced in the gut. But it's produced mostly when you have gut infections and it releases histamine and it creates mast cell activation. And all of this serotonin starts to trigger diarrhea, basically. So it's not necessarily a good thing. You need some, but you don't need, you don't need so much. And by raising serotonin, by taking something like 5-hydroxytryptophan, you actually may worsen your anxiety, being that it works the same way as the um, this, uh, SSRIs, the antidepressants. They create too much serotonin. Not enough is uptaken by the clefts. And so you start to get migraines because it acts with estrogen to become a vasoconstrictor, and it constricts the arteries in the, um, the tri- next to the trigeminal nerve which create this migraine feeling. And this is just one one of the monoamines. When you look at things like LSD and psilocybin, they can be they can bind to the serotonin receptors and prevent the action by serotonin. And this has an interesting effect in terms of authoritarian mindset because people that used to take LSD and psilocybin back in the 60s when it first became a thing were all about anti-authority, anti-government, anti you want to be free, you want to be an individual that has autonomy. And we look at this now, and it's like they become this extreme uh, – it's like a – I want to say the future of antidepressants. And, I mean, it has been working in clinical trials, and it doesn't do anything to serotonin except binds to the receptors and prevents serotonin's action in your brain. So all this time we're prescribing medication that increase serotonin when the true medication, the psilocybin, LSD, and so on, that works against depression decreases serotonin. Just by this misconception alone, I think we've worsened a lot of people's mental health, worsened anxiety, worsened depression, telling them to take St. John's Wort, uh, 5-HTP, certain monoamine boosters and prevention of oxidase inhibitors and so on, the things that break down the monoamines in general. If you don't allow the breakdown of these monoamines, they're just going to keep recirculating, causing problems. Yeah. I had Jody Skillicorn, Dr. Jody Skillicorn, who wrote uh, Healing Depression Without Medication. Mm-hmm. And she really debunked and, and got into this idea that depression is a imbalance and of no all these things, right? And that that really has never been proven in any literature out mm-hmm. there. And she went a whole chapter into it. We had a good talk about. It. So I'm, I'm on board with you there. So 